The 3 1 knot is known to mathematicians and to Celtic knot enthusiasts as the trefoil knot. To everyone else, it's probably the overhand knot. It's so familiar because it's so simple. Wrap one end of the rope around the other and pull. Of course, we're doing the mathematician thing and connecting the ends of the rope together to form a loop. This brings the knot into a kind of standard form. This is just the way that we formally define knots in mathematics, so just ignore those two ends at the top of the rope. Normally, when professionals dress a knot, they organize it nicely and tighten it so that its job can be done well, you know, without slipping. Because our job is to highlight knot structure, we will dress the knot in a very loose way and as symmetric as possible. As you can see, there are three crossings, whence the name, trefoil. Folks will often say that the trefoil is the only knot with three crossings, and in some sense it is. But the trefoil is a chiral or handed knot. That is to say, there are two versions, a right-handed one and a left-handed one. You know, most knots are chiral, and if anything, it's really interesting when they're not. To demonstrate what we mean by the chirality of the trefoil, we'll tie both side by side to demonstrate. And now we'll dress them. See? They kind of look the same. Both have three crossings, and both crossings tend to happen in the opposite direction. When you combine two chiral prime knots, the orientation of each matters a lot, both aesthetically, but also functionally. And we'll see that next time.